This is Stable Diffusion for AMD GPU Windows users, and you are currently watching Stable Diffusion using ONNX the easiest way. Right now, I'm going to show you a quick demo on how it works. All you have to do is click XUI executable file and type in the prompt. For this example, I'm going to use one girl as a demo. As you can see, it only took 10.85 seconds to generate a 512 times 512 pixel images, and I'm using AMD RX 6600 XT. Times to generate the image vary depending on the AMD GPU you use. I only shown mine as a quick reference. I have tested all the available sampling methods for the Ani Matrix V20 model using the same seed for comparison. In my testing, all looks great except PNDM and LMS Discrete. All the images take 10 to 11 seconds to generate except DPM Discrete at 20.79 seconds and Hune Discrete at 20.81 seconds. What do you think? Feel free to do your own experiment with the sampling methods. Before you begin, make sure you have already installed the Python 3.10.6 in Git. For Python, copy and paste the link from the description below. Scroll all the way down until you see Windows Installer 64-bit. Download and install it. Just make sure that you select at Python 3.10.6 to path in the checkbox. For Git, paste the link from the description as well. Download the 64-bit version and install it normally. Here comes the best part you all are waiting for. At the time of the recording, the latest version is 3.3.2, but please do not use this one as it has missing exe file. Instead, download the version 3.3.1. Once you download the file, just click the XUI executable file as you have seen in the beginning of the video. That's it, and it will install everything for you. Just make sure you have internet connection with you, no pun intended. Once everything is done, you will be greeted with the GUI interface and you don't have to use web browser at all. The next part is converting your existing model into ONNX usable format. First, click the import at the model column. A model importer will pop out. Click and drag your existing model you download to the model importer and click convert. Please bear in mind that it will take a really long time. I did not record the time as it was too unbearable to wait, so I just go and do something else. The size of the converted model will be significant bigger as well. During the model conversion process, you will stuck at startup extract screen for a really long time, so do not fret, it's totally normal. You will see SD done Owen and X as shown in the screen when the conversion is complete. Now you can use the Owen and X stable diffusion as usual. If you like my video, do consider to donate at my PayPal and Coffee page. It really helps me a lot to produce more useful video like this in the future. Thanks.